All right, so uh, today is uh, September 16th, Monday, 2013, and it's the Digi60 catch release day, and we heard from a number of uh, script writers, and I'm going to play one pitch I heard this evening. This kind of makes it easy to do a daily video blog because I got a whole lot of video shot tonight getting script pitched, mm, scripts pitched to me. Anyway. I actually am going to be working with Glenn Sloan on another script idea that I uh, kind of come up with on my own, but uh, this is Glenn Sloan and his idea he brought to the event. Roll it. Um, okay, you're going to read because I haven't practiced. So picture like a kitchen, a woman runs in, she's you know a little bit not frantic but hurried and preoccupied, trying to find something, she enters the room and she heads for the sink. Looks under the sink. She can't find what she's looking for. It's not there, so she sort of leans on the counter. She's just thinking, and she sort of her eyes drift away, and there's a broken mug on the countertop with, with liquid sort of hanging around. Time's up. So she sort of stares at the mug, and this it's kind of so it goes through a sort of a flashback, or as we call it, a, a dissolve. Right? These flashbacks are bad. So she's in the kitchen. She's in the kitchen again. She's anxious, nervous, shaking, trying to drink a cup of tea. Right? And she hears a, a male voice calling to her, like Sam. You know. Um, she tries to ignore it. The man enters the room and shoves her a little bit. Sends the cup flying. It smashes on the counter. Um, the tea goes everywhere. He pushes her again harder. She's up against the wall now. She's scared. He's inching away, and then she runs. She runs away. She gets out of her door. There's a short chase through the house. You know, she's being chased like an animal, and he's like an animal chasing her. And uh, she's in the bathroom now. She's curled up on the floor beside the sink, and you know, there's cleaning products. There's like Drano and other stuff. And, yellow, bright yellow rubber gloves hanging there. You cut back and she's in the kitchen again and then she's going, aha. And next thing you know she's running upstairs and she's in the bathroom and she, and uh, she's in the bathroom. And she's in the basement all of a sudden. She's come down, cut to the basement there. She's come down the basement stairs. She gets to the bottom coolly. She gets down there, she pieces in her back pocket, takes out these bright yellow rubber gloves, slips them on leans down over this rusty shovel and you can't help but notice like the red liquid on the shovel and she leans down and grabs her arms under this something and pulls it and it's a guy you know she had killed him with the shovel and drags him away you know that's it <laughs>